making some homemade body butter. I'm gonna be making it specifically for eczema, but you can make it for anything you want. You can make it to relieve stress, you can make it for pain. I did a lot of trial and error on this recipe because with the heat here, a lot of them have melted. But I think I found a really good mixture that stands up to some heat and also goes on nice and smooth and doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. So how we're gonna get started, because I've got my double boiler. We've got some raw shea butter, we've got cocoa butter, coconut oil, and some sweet almond oil. What we're gonna do is melt these all together to start so that they combine. Then we'll be putting it in the fridge to solidify a little bit. And lastly is the fun part where you put the oils in and then I use my KitchenAid mixer and you whip it up and it becomes a really silky smooth delicious, creamy body butter. Okay, so here goes my recipe. It starts with a quarter cup of the raw shea butter. How I buy it is just in these logs that you can get anywhere on Amazon. You can buy them at your local health food market. But you can see they kind of come in this, they get a little sticky, but that's okay. We're gonna be melting everything and your measurements don't have to be exact, exact, but they just need to be kind of close. So I, what I do is I just start breaking it off until I've filled my measuring cup. It's pretty close. And the nice thing is any of this that gets stuck on your hands, you can rub it on your body and it'll just leave you nice and moisturized. So there's nothing that goes to waste. Oops, just flicking it around. That's what I do. Okay. Could use a spatula, but I like to use my finger. Makes it more fun. It's like Play-Doh. Okay, next we're gonna take our cocoa butter. Now the way cocoa butter comes, it's not quite as soft as shea butter, so it's a little harder to uh, do that. I buy mine already kind of broken up, so it makes it a little bit easier. You're really not gonna get an accurate quarter cup measurement on this, so I'll try and get this out of here without looking too goofy. My hands are nice and greasy from the shea butter. So I pulled out a big thing like this. It looks a little big, so what I'm gonna do is break part of it off, if I can. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. That's close enough. We'll toss it in here. You know, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Next, we'll take our coconut oil. Now I get the unrefined, the extra virgin. You don't wanna get the part, the one that's already too refined because it won't solidify back up. This already does have um, a pretty it's a high melting point because it'll, you get it below room temperature and it's below room temperature, above room temperature, and it, uh, it'll turn into a liquid anyways. So you definitely want the unrefined and you add a tablespoon of that. And we'll add another tablespoon, actually. We'll give it two. Okay, next we're going to do the almond oil. Hands are probably really greasy at this point, so feel free to rub it in. It's okay, all of your other stuff is gonna be melting, so there's no need to rush. We'll pour in, it's two tablespoons of this as well. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull in the camera so you can kind of see what it looks like. boop -a doo Okay, so you can see it's all melting together. And what we're gonna do is we're going to stir this around until it's fully melted. Just using a spoon, nothing fancy. And you're just gonna wait until the cocoa butter will always be the last one to finish because it's the one that's the most solid. So keep stirring it, stirring it. We're now at the point where everything's mixed together and it's all melted. So what we're gonna do now is turn off our stove. You don't wanna leave that on, that could be really dangerous. 
we're going to transfer this into something that we can cool in the fridge. What I like to use is just my KitchenAid mixer bowl. I've got right here because that's what I'm going to be mixing it in anyways. So I transfer it in there. Everything's really liquid. You don't even really need a spatula to get anything off, which is nice. And we're going to leave this uncovered. You don't need to cover it and put it in the fridge. And once it is cool, we will come back and add our oils and whip it up. Hi, we're back with the lotion that has been setting up in the fridge. What I've done is I've taken it out. And as you can see right here, this is our mixture that we've made with the shea butter, the cocoa butter, the coconut oil and the almond oil. You'll know it's ready, you can see I've already put my finger in it, when you can, it's still a little soft and you put your finger right in there and you can kind of depress it. So that's how you'll know it's ready to go into your mixer. You can use a hand mixer, you can use a KitchenAid mixer. I'm gonna use my KitchenAid mixer because I love it. But either one will work just fine and what you're gonna do is it's gonna whip this up into a really nice, rich, butter and it's going to feel and look amazing. Okay, gotta get my mixer ready. Now at this point we haven't put any oils into our mixture and we didn't want to. So what you're gonna do now is decide, do you wanna make an eczema? Do you want to do maybe a lavender and peppermint? You can put any oils in this that you want, whatever your needs are. I personally have been making the eczema one because I suffer from that and it works well for me. Um, so go ahead, take your pick. I've put them in and the eczema, if you wanna do it for that, it's 10 drops of frankincense, 10 drops of Melrose, and 10 drops of lavender. You put in about 30 drops, 20 to 30, of uh, whatever you personally would like. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and get our mixer going now. I like to start it a little slow, and then I work my way up because, you know, it can get a little crazy. Now what I did as well before I put this in the fridge was I made a little extra because I wanted to make a few extra jars for some friends. So, you know, you can make as much or as little as you want. The recipe that I gave you was for a single batch that goes in about a six to eight ounce jar. The jars I've got to use are these. They're really nice. I, I purchased them online a long time ago. I used to make scrubs and I just had some extra ones around and so they work really well for this. Now, if you decide you want to make yours a citrus, okay, this is important to make sure you use a glass jar because the Young Living Oils obviously are such high grade, they will eat through plastic. These ones right here are, you can hear it, they're plastic. So make sure you use a glass jar if you're going to use citrus oils. If you're not using citrus oils, a plastic one will work just fine. Okay, so now it's whipping up and it's kind of a nice frothiness. I want to turn up my heat. I have the heat on my mixer, I think so. You will see, I'm gonna bring this in so you can kind of see how it's going while we're mixing it up. So you can see that it's turning in to a really nice butter from what you saw originally when I pulled out, which was kind of a paste. I let it keep going till it almost looks like a meringue. If you've ever had lemon meringue pie, you know what that looks like. It's not gonna get as hard as a meringue, but it's gonna, it's gonna look really nice. Okay, this is looking great. Go ahead and bring it over to you once I get some of this off. Okay, so now you can see this has turned into 
a really rich, a really nice butter uh, that we're going to use. And you can see, I'll put my finger, you can see how it comes out on here. And it goes on you very smooth. It's not greasy. You can see, I'll put some right here. It goes in really nice, very sheer, and it soaks in pretty quickly. Okay, so again, mm, and it smells. That cocoa butter in there, you can really smell it. It's great. So what I'm gonna do now with all my butter is put it in these jars. And I like to use some little labels on the top. The um, chalkboard ones are kind of fun because then when people are done, they can relabel them, they can reuse these. I like to make sure that people are, are reusing uh, these things and they aren't going to waste. So have fun with this. Enjoy the body butter and I hope your skin feels great.